um, I've been blessed with uh, spending two years now at O2 Telefonica in the UK. And prior to that, um, as, a, as a rather very pleasant, nice and uh, flattering intro said, um, I worked across a number of different media platforms, more or less every single media platform, including, uh, including digital. So, and I think what, um, uh, what our journey at O2 represents is probably my fascination and belief that um, the majority of media will shift into a, a personalised fashion, primarily through technology, um, uh, but which, which I'll touch on in the, in the presentation. And that's because um, what media is doing is it, it's fundamentally changing the growth model, but it's also changing the relationship with customers because it's helping them connect to brands and it's a creating a mutually beneficial relationship. So if you think about an aggregator of experiences, it's actually putting our customers, 22 million of them, in touch with the brands and the things that they want to connect to, of which they want to connect to all the time, by the way. Um, and we share a building with a, a business called Facebook. Um, and... Uh, and it's, um, well, there's a bit of a fight going on right now because the, 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 the place is called Data Central by a lot of the trade press, which is thinking about the fact that 56 million customers and all their data live in that building. And if you think about the enormity of the targeting opportunity, it's, it's endless. Um, and I'll talk about the, the, you know, the data that we have and the potential. Our key differentiator is that we're using our customer data for their benefit. And it's a key point. So if you take the other models in the market, whether it's um, Google, or um, Apple or anybody else, it, it's different to what we're doing because they're more of a catalyst for something. Um, so you know, Google don't have that customer relationship, for example. So we have to we have to nurture everything we do. So from a brand perspective, that's actually a great place to be. Um, it's a great place to be. Um, one of the things we want to deliver for our clients is a full end-to-end -end solution, which is around um, everything from intelligent messaging, through to book messaging, through to banners, through to click to call, all the different formats, right through to an app or a mobile site. And the rationale for that is that what I want my team to be able to do is offer intelligent solutions to marketeers, but offer the right solution. So if a salesperson came in to see you from Apple, they would tell you that it's all about iAds. They would ask you for a million quid, but they'd tell you it's all around iAds. And if Google came in, they'd tell you it's all around banners because that's what they both sell. If someone came in from IT, they would have the full end-to-end -end solutions and they would do the right thing for the client. Um, because I, th I, I genuinely believe if you focus on doing the right thing for the client, from a comms perspective, then you'll have repeat business, which I'll come on to, which is one of my obsessions, which is a very sensitive slide. <laughs> Our real long-term vision is to, um, is to close the loop and uh, what I mean by closing the loop is, if you think about things like club card or vouchers and, and redemption, is actually putting that end piece into the jigsaw, which is providing it on the mobile device. So that um, so Starbucks style is that you can close the loop fully, so that all the reporting can come back onto that screen within the agency or in the brand, so that you're in total control of both the media uh, delivery, but also the redemption, the sales. Um, and I think if you track the growth of um, our friends Google in the UK and beyond, you will see where they filled in the last piece of the loop and you'll see the revenue. And what that demonstrates is not, let's have the cash, that demonstrates the appeal and the effectiveness for brands. The, the, the key thing here is that, and don't think O2, think operators, that the wealth of data that the operators have is, is quite unique. In that if you look on the left, if you take Google, then Google, um, they don't have that relationship and they don't have the data. So a lot of people perceive that they have, they have the data, but they have data, but they don't really know who you are um, or where you will be at any one time. You might think they do, but they don't, um, whereas the operators have that. So the advantage sits quite firmly on the right. I think <coughs> the guys on the left have been more innovative and have made things happen quicker. I think the, the guys on the right, if we're the mobile operators, have been quite slow. But, but, but that's changing. Um, and for me, the, you know, the game is all around data. We're frequently seeing clients coming to us and saying that we need to be on mobile, we need to be doing mobile, a bit like social media was two years ago. And, but with no real understanding, <coughs> let's see what we want to get out of it. And, and I think that's a big problem with us in, in terms of expectations setting, is actually saying to them, well, what actually is the objective? Or what, why do you want to be on mobile? There's no point in just saying, we need to be there because everyone else is going there, or because the new thing, and therefore it's hot, and we want to be where it's hot and be seen as thought leaders or evangelists. I think it's it's far more important to have 
much simpler goals, much simpler objectives in terms of how you're trying to connect with an audience, what you're actually trying to say to the audience. Fundamentally, from the sort of work that, that, that we do, and I think it's important, it's about user experience. Does it feel like a single connected user experience? Does it feel like I'm in a, in a, in a brand that feels the same? Do I feel like it's one channel that it's organised and managed? Because if I'm on, uh, on a one mobile device and then suddenly I go somewhere else and I'm sent to something that doesn't look the same or it looks different, immediately you've broken my desire to give you my personal information because it may well be perfectly safe, but I feel less connected to it. I feel less like it's come from one place. And I think that's something, I mean, user experience is finally beginning to move out of a web development world and into a, a much broader um, much broader field of actually thinking about the whole experience that a customer has. And that's a very good thing. The, the, this opens up a wider debate actually and it's going to be, it's going to affect every single person, uh, business and, uh, and consumer and that is the internet's been a wonderful free ride for a long, long time and both from, a, from an end user perspective um, uh, uh, but also actually as, as marketeers you've, you've had actually quite cheap access to a lot of audiences uh, that's all going to change and uh, whether you like it or not and um, as, the, as the internet becomes far more sophisticated companies like O2 get really really good at segmenting data or really targeting very very specific individuals um, you're going you're to get charged for that so I think um, without trying to put sort of doom and gloom on it per se <laughs> uh, I, I think you have to brace yourself as marketers that